Many people today know that drinking large amounts of soda is not healthy, but they switch to diet soda in an attempt to be healthier. But today we have research, and we have for many years now, in fact, I talk about this a lot in my college courses, diet soda has been associated with weight gain and elevated body mass index, or BMI. It has also been associated with altered glucose metabolism. So that means blood sugar changes and elevated insulin levels. We've also seen some research that's showing effects on that beneficial gut bacteria. So it has a possible negative effect on that beneficial gut bacteria, which affects everything. Now we have more research showing some negative links between diet soda consumption, artificially sweetened diet soda, and the brain. A study published in the journal Stroke, which is from the American Heart Association, this was published on April 20th, they looked at 2,888 people. And what they were looking at was the association between beverage consumption, stroke, and dementia. The researchers found that people who drank at least one can of diet soda every day had three times the increased risk of having a stroke than people that were not consuming that type of a beverage. They also found that even at lower intakes, anywhere between one to six of these beverages, these artificially sweetened diet sodas every week, just every week, one to six per week, they still had an increased association with having a stroke. The risk of dementia was also increased three times by having just one can of diet soda every day. Some of the same researchers also published a study in the journal Alzheimer's and Dementia. They also were looking at sugar sweetened beverages and artificially sweetened beverages. They looked at neuropsychological tests and they did some studies on the brain. They found that the greater the consumption of the sugary beverages was associated with a smaller brain. They saw lower total brain volume and they also saw lower memory scores. And when they looked at the amount, they did some, some equivalents. They were looking at if the person was consuming one to two or more than two sugary beverages every day, that was equivalent to 1.6 to two years of brain aging just from consuming the sugary beverages. They also looked at those memory scores and they found that this decrease when they consume that one or two or more sugary beverages every day, that was equivalent to 5.8 to 11 years of brain aging. So to me guys, this is a no brainer. Decrease our consumption of the sugary beverages. The researchers also found that higher diet soft drink intake was associated with smaller total brain volume. So again, shrinking brain with higher intake of diet soda. They also saw poor performance on one of the neuropsychological tests. So the researchers, and I think anybody would conclude here, is that both the sugar sweetened and the artificially sweetened soft drinks may be bad for the brain. My tip for you is to Cut out the sodas, cut out the diet sodas, cut out the regular sodas. It can be really challenging, I know, I did it. And I drank more diet soda literally than anybody I know. When I left jobs, when I moved to another position, people gave me baskets of diet soda as a going away present. So if I can do it, I'm telling you, anybody can do this. You just have to have that desire to do it. What I did was substitute things like Perrier, because I really like the bubbles, and or tea. I started drinking a lot more tea. I drink a lot of green tea. Green tea is fabulous. There's an abundance amount of research around green tea, and it also has beneficial effects on the brain because of those powerful phytochemicals that it contains, like the catechins. Coffee is another thing. It has a lot of research today on health benefits. It also contains phytochemicals. So unless you're fooling, filling it full of sugar and other junk, coffee can be actually a very healthy beverage for you. The other thing you might wanna consider is things like kombucha that also has that healthy bacteria that those like probiotics. So that actually gives some health back to your gut. So 
please consider cutting down, if not eliminating altogether. Little by little, those changes will add up and it'll make a difference in your life and your health.